Hi Unity Game Devs, in this video I show you some general coding shortcuts and tips for Visual Studio and the integrated Unity development tools. The first one is to surround a code block like this private variables here with a region. Select the block, then press Ctrl, K and S, choose region and define a name for it. Very helpful and fast. If you like to work with interfaces like I do, there are a couple of useful shortcuts you can use. When you press the F12 key, you jump to the definition of the interface. But if you would like to know which classes implement this interface, you can press Ctrl and F12 to get a list of all these classes. When selecting a class in this list, you navigate to the particular code. Another useful shortcut is Shift and F12 to find all the references of the interface you selected. Of course you can use this for classes, variables or methods as well. In the previous video about Visual Studio and Unity that are linked in the description below, I showed how to install the development tools for Unity. With these installed, you can right-click in your class that is derived from Mono Behavior to get a list of all the Unity messages that you can implement. To add it to your class, just select the corresponding checkbox, choose the location where you want it to be created and press OK. It can be very useful to drag a rectangular selection shape to be able to replace or insert the same code for all the lines of these areas. To define this selection hold down the ALT key and select the area with the mouse. Now when you type in new code, it is added like you can see here for the particular selection. Snippets can be very useful to speed up coding. Let me show you some examples. If you want to add a default constructor, you can type in CTOR and press tab twice to insert it. Other examples are loops or try catch statements for exception handling. If you are working on a logic that is located at different places in the code, you can use bookmarks to quickly switch between the code blocks. You can open the bookmark window with Ctrl, K and W. To create a bookmark, use the shortcut Ctrl, K and K. Then you can give your shortcut a name, jump to the next code and create another one. Now you can jump back and forth between the code blocks by selecting the bookmarks in the bookmarks window. Another feature of the Unity development tools for Visual Studio is the possibility to attach the debugger and start the game with one click. Just select Attach and Play here in the toolbar of Visual Studio and when you click it your game starts, the breakpoint is hit and you can go ahead and debug your code. When you are coding, Visual Studio is creating a history of your steps. You can navigate the history by using the buttons here in the toolbar, but you can also use the shortcut keys Ctrl and the minus key to navigate backwards or Shift and the minus key to move forward in your history. Code refactoring is a big topic. Let me show you just one example that you will need really often. It is renaming of variables, methods or class definitions. Here I selected a variable and choose rename. Then I type in the new name, 
Define if I want to change it also in comments and other strings and if I would like to see a preview of the changes. And when I press apply then, all appearances are renamed in my project. Ok, and now last but not least, the shortcuts for commenting and uncommenting code blocks. Of course you can do this manually by adding slashes for each line, but you can also go ahead and select a code block and then press Ctrl, K and C to comment it out. In order to uncomment it again, select the lines and press Ctrl, K and U. So guys, these were my tips for Visual Studio and Unity development, I hope you like it. And if you do, then please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching this, thanks for your support and come back soon to JNM.